Hello everyone, how are you? I'm in the vestry at the moment, come to look at a few things. Would you like to look at what I'm looking at? I'm looking at the purple robes that we've got out. We're wearing purple at the altar at the moment. So the altar table has a purple cloth on it and the clergy in the sanctuary party are wearing purple robes. Do you like the purple? This one here has got a beautiful white cross on and some pink flowers. We've got another set over here on the other side hanging up ready for Sunday. That's rather special, that one. Which one do you like best? This one that we use on Sundays? Or this one that we use during the week? I like them both. Purple is a colour that means sorry. And colour for Lent is purple. Because Lent is the time when we think about all the things we and other human beings have done in the world and think which things are good and which things are bad and what we shouldn't have done and what we're sorry about. There are there any things that you or other people have done or things that have happened that you're sorry about? I can think of a few. And two weeks ago, just before Lent started, we came to church and at the end of church, we burnt our palm crosses. Do you remember the crosses that we get given on Palm Sunday every year to remind us that Jesus came into Bethlehem riding on a donkey and people waved palms and put them down on the ground for him to walk on? So we give him palms and the palms are in a shape of a cross because we have to remember that only a few days after Palm Sunday, Jesus died on the cross. And then he rose again on Easter day. God loved us so much that God became human and God then let us kill him and still came back. Jesus knew that human beings had killed him, but Jesus still came back to be with us. That means God and Jesus love us an awful lot, doesn't it? Well, two Sundays ago, when we were at church, we brought our palm Sundays from last year and we burnt them. And here in this bowl is the ashes that were left over when we burnt them. If you look carefully, you can still see some bits of palm cross there. And this is the sum of the ashes left over that we haven't used yet but we will save to use next year. So the, those ashes that we were looking at just now, they are all smashed up into little bits like this. Can you see the little bits in these pots and in this pot? It's made into fine ash. And then this ash is mixed up with water. And we mix it up with water to make a sort of paste. And then we can use the paste to make a cross on somebody's forehead. Because on Ash Wednesday, which is the first day of Lent, we use the ashes. And can any of you remember what we use the ashes for? That's right. On Ash Wednesday, we use the mash ashes, which have been mixed up with some water, to make a cross on our foreheads. So we take the ash on our fingers and we make a cross on our forehead like that to remind ourselves of all the things that we're sorry for and how we're trying to try and do things a bit different from now on. So the ash is put on a cross on our forehead to remind us that this is the beginning of Lent and this is what is going to happen. And that's what we did, not last Wednesday, the Wednesday before. But I thought you should see the ash, what happens with our palm crosses and then what we do because it's an important thing to remember. This is Lent time. So God, who loved us so much that God became human and came to us as the baby Jesus, that God grew up with ordinary people just like us. But then God was killed. Jesus let himself be killed by human beings. But because Jesus, because God loved us so much, Jesus came back to be with us forever because we are special. But it means 
that we, because we are loved, it doesn't mean we can forget about being good as well. We have to remember that this world is special and God doesn't just love us, God loves everyone. So we need to try to treat everybody else how we would like to be treated because we have to remember there's a bit of God in everyone and in everything that's alive. Do you think we can try and remember to do that? I think we could. So it's been good talking to you. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye.